quality of my mornings. I got cams switched on. Yeah. This is real. This was literally real. I had no shirt, so. No clean shirt, so he just borrowed my kale shirt. Sorry, I didn't know. You didn't know what? I'll let you get back to it. No. Okay, this is what we call quality time. Are you a koala? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we'll just do this where we'll literally just come up and like oh, pretend God. like we're a koala. Good morning, everyone. Every morning I take a probiotic. I'm just gonna be honest, I, I take it with my coffee. I do usually wake up about 6.38. Honestly, that was pretty accurate. I woke up today at 6.37, exactly. So, how do I wake up early? Okay, my number one tip for you is to really stick to, I'm going to wake up at the same time every day. So for a while, I had to use an alarm to get me up. Then my body just started naturally waking up at that time. How do you just kind of get up? Because I'll sit in my bed for at least an hour on my phone. When I first wake up, when my eyes literally open, I check to see what time it is. And that's pretty much the extent of me going on my phone in the morning. Now, because I'm filming this video and I really want to answer all of your questions, I'm going on my phone just this particular morning, but usually every single day I check my phone and then I don't touch it again. Now, let me just be honest. Say I wake up and then I go on Instagram for a minute and then it's like this never ending rabbit hole. Okay, I can't do that. The great Dr. Henry Cloud once said, you cannot multitask. There is no such thing as multitasking. In fact, when you check your phone or you check your email or you do something that pulls you away from whatever you're doing right now, you actually lose 20 minutes of time. That's what research shows. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the secret to everything that I do. I remind myself that if I'm going to check my phone right now, if I'm going to get distracted by doing whatever the distraction is, do I want to lose 20 minutes of my morning? No. To come full circle with that thought, there's no such thing as multitasking, okay? That's not coming from me, that is coming from a doctor, and it's coming from research. So when we multitask and we think we can have this morning where we're multitasking and doing all these things, the reality is, is that when we take our undivided attention, it's what they call deep work, for example, to when I'm reading my Bible and I'm really reading and then I think, oh, I wonder if my vitamin C serum is on sale right now. I really need to order some more. I'm just going to check it really quick. I've just lost 20 minutes of time. Our brains really are capable of focusing on one thing at a time. Obviously, we can go around, make my smoothie while I, you know, listen to a podcast and we want to have this like super productive morning and then what we end up doing is we end up not being able to really go deep and have the morning that we really do want to have. I found a lot of joy and I'm going to focus my mind for this moment and that's the key is that this moment do I want this moment to be distracted here's the other thing that's really changed everything for me and that honestly is telling myself that the rules that I create for myself and the rules that you create for yourself are good rules I feel like we get in this weird maybe I just get in this weird mindset where I'll create a really nice healthy rule for myself don't go on my phone in the morning for example and then what do I do I wake up and I'm like, oh, I told myself I wasn't gonna go on my phone, but I'm just gonna go on my phone for five minutes and then and then I like want to break the rule that I made for myself. You know what I mean? It's like this weird, like, I'm a rebel <laughs> against my own rule. Protect your time in the morning. How do I wake up? How do I have a better morning? How do I do what I want to do in the morning? How do I have my devotions? How do I have quiet time? How do I work out? How do I have a morning that I actually love? Not that's perfect. Like in one of my recent videos where Meester literally, Meester's my dog, Meester literally jumped on to the table and knocked over my coffee and it spilled all over my Bible. It got all over my jacket that I just cleaned. We're not angry, are we? No, we just accept it as prepping me for a child one day. Right, Meester? Yes. Leave a comment right now if you know what book <laughs> that he spilled on. Cheers to you, that's all I can say. And please thumbs up this video right now if you're enjoying it. Moving on. I love my mornings. I love them because I've protected my time in the mornings to really do what I know that my soul needs. Now that we know how to protect our time, I have my quiet time in the morning. Okay, don't even tell me that you haven't done this because I know you've done this. If you read your Bible, you've done this. And don't lie because don't lie. And if you haven't done this, then I don't know if I believe you. Okay, just Okay, what am I gonna read this morning? Whatever I open to. We have all very much done that and that wasn't working for me anymore because I was waking up and I just had no idea what to read. I was so all over the map and it just kind of gave me an excuse to not read it because I was like, I don't know what to read so I'm just not gonna read it at all. And then I was like, but I wanna read it. If you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, you already know that and I do a little Bible study, little tidbits. I really wanted to share this with you because this 
refreshed me, it strengthened me this morning, it encouraged me. And so if I read something and I'm like, oh, that really reminds me of this, then I'll just kind of follow that little rabbit trail. I've made a whole video on how to read your Bible. It's not like how to read your Bible. Like you can read your Bible however you want, but just tips on it. So I'll link that down below if you wanna watch that video because you might find it really helpful. If you wanna know exactly what I'm reading, I literally am starting Second Kings today, so. I just threw my pen at you. I read through whatever I'm reading, and then I will open my prayer journal, and I like to read through Stormy's book. Currently, I've read through this book about three million times, no exaggeration. This is an incredible book. If you want to know how to prayer journal, how to pray, this is the time in the morning where I really just give everything over to God, and I just ask Him to just lead me today in whatever I'm doing, to help me do whatever I'm doing, and I can tell you, it's the best part of my day. Prayer has literally changed and transformed my life. I get so excited to wake up in the morning and spend time with God. say over the years if you've watched my videos before that you should hydrate before you caffeinate so what that means is you need to drink water right when you wake up in the morning because after sleeping all night your body is slightly dehydrated so it's just a great way to start off the day not dehydrated but something that you might not have caught on to recently is that I'm actually putting electrolytes in my water in the morning so that I can be hydrated and ready to go for my workout in your workout so that you can function optimally so you can move and feel the best that you can possibly feel in your workout and give really what is like the best that your body can give is to be hydrated not to be dehydrated especially during a workout you do not want to start a workout dehydrated so drinking electrolytes actually ensures that your body is hydrated on a cellular level so this is the one that I take Osmo I love you active hydration optimized for women this is in the mango flavor I literally love this stuff so much we're on liter number two This is exactly what you're going to do if you wanna work out in the morning and you don't have motivation. Are you ready? You are going to do what I like to call the one step start. I talk about this in my ebook on track. This whole idea is that you do the one step that you need to do to start. I don't wanna work out, I have no motivation. You are simply going to go over to your drawer, you are going to put your workout clothes on, and then you're going to roll out your mat. And then you're going to start doing one jumping jack. You start by doing the one step that you need to do in order to start. And then you just take the next step. Now I'm gonna unroll my mat, now I'm gonna walk outside, and now I'm going to turn on a Cambria Joy workout video. Instead of being overwhelmed, like I don't wanna do this big long workout, you just do the one thing, the one step that you need to take right now. I really love the sweet potato in there for breakfast because it's a great pre-workout to give me energy with the carbs. And then obviously we have protein and then we have some fruit, which is just great, fueled up and ready to work out. in one hand, I carry the poop bag in the other hand.
usually blow dry the top of my head then the rest of my hair I'll typically just let it air dry or I'll use it on like the cooler heat setting now it's time to curl my hair so I use the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Ion Unclip by the way I get all of my hair products for a discount because my sister is a hairstylist an amazing one at that I just feel like my products last me a really long time and I can get them at a good price so it works for me this oil I've had since the end of 2016 I'll take one small section and I'll do it away from my face and I'll do the other section toward my face. And I just leave a good chunk of the hair at the very end out just because I feel like it gives it more of like a beachy wave. Also don't start at the very base. So I don't know if you can tell, but I don't go right up to the root. I kind of start at the middle and then I'll hold it for a second. is a little bit more oil to make this shine. These are the things that nobody tells you that I feel like I would have liked to know years ago. That first one is to, sh is to have the end straightened. It just feels more relaxed, more beachy to me. And then the other thing is I like the curls to actually start like past my eyes. I know these are like weird tips. It just looks too polished for my personal preference. So I like the curls to start a little bit lower. And then here is the secret of all secrets, which is texture spray. I don't really like it very polished kind of like it like beachy messy So this is the completed look this is my hair and my makeup so yeah this video is not sponsored or anything by RMS I literally just placed an order on there the other day I genuinely love and use all the products and I've used RMS beauty actually now for years it's my favorite makeup that I've ever tried it feels like and looks like natural skin and the products are amazing because the ingredients are incredible like the ingredients are so clean and I just feel like it's not too heavy um, but it's a little glam and it's my favorite go-to. This is how I do my makeup. I don't wear makeup every single day and I definitely don't curl my hair every single day but because you guys requested this so much and updated makeup and hair, I did want to include it in this morning routine but I have recently even liked just putting on five minutes of makeup even if it is just a little bit of the uncover up concealer and a little bit of mascara. I will leave links to every single makeup product and hair product that I use in the description box. If you like this video, please click thumbs up. It really helps to support my channel and it honestly just helps the YouTube algorithm and it really does help out my channel so thank you so much if you did like it it would really mean a lot to me weekly emails are back it is literally everyone's favorite thing ever every single Wednesday a brand new email gets delivered to your inbox written from me personally to help you to strengthen you from the inside out for the week and if you're looking for a good workout to do you can watch this video right here and you can subscribe right here I'll see you in my next video bye